In this section, I am going to show you how to connect and insert data in MongoDB from Node.js and then gradually we will convert that into an API. So let's begin. I am going to create a new project and for that I am creating new folder in this directory. But you are free to create your project at any path in the system. Okay, so I will say here mkdir, it's a command line to create a new directory and then name of the folder, let me name it as crud-example and now I'm adding this folder to the workspace. Right click, add folder to the workspace and select the folder from the path. And now I will navigate to this folder in the terminal window and I guess now we all know what we have to do to initialize a project yes that's correct i'll say npm init enter now it says package name let's name it as crud-api-mongodb version let's keep it as it is and enter in description i'll say api to perform crud operations in mongodb and now keep on pressing enter that is accept the default value okay so now we have the package json file created in the folder perfect at this moment i am not installing express and other libraries we will install all of these gradually as we proceed in this section to connect with the mongodb we need a mongodb node.js driver which we can download from npmjs i will navigate to npmjs.com search for mongodb and here is the mongodb module let's go back to vs code terminal window and i'm going to install the package i'll say npm install mongodb okay the module is installed now I am creating a file connection.js. In this file, I am importing the module. I'll say const curly brackets mongo client equals require mongodb. Mongo client is a class that allows you to make connections to mongodb. At this moment, we just want to use mongo client from the mongodb module. So I have destructured it during the import itself. Next step is to use the Mongo client class to connect to the database. I am creating one variable here. I'll say const client equals new Mongo client parentheses and inside the parentheses we have to pass the connection string that is mongodb colon localhost colon 27017 this is the default port for mongodb and in second parameter i will pass use new url parser colon true as an object this option is to tell mongo client to use the new url parser to form a connection string and finally i will say client dot connect the connect method accepts a callback but if no callback function is passed, this is going to return a promise. So what I can do here is I will pass a callback function inside the connect method. I will say error comma db client that is either this method will return an error or client object. The arrow function curly brackets and put a condition here if error then I'll say console log error comma error object. If db client then console log connected to mongodb. Let's save it and run. I'll say node mon connection dot js and enter. And here we have the result. It says connected to mongodb. If I change something in the URL like change the port to something else and save this now this should return us an error object and we have the error displayed here all right the same thing can be achieved using promises as well
So here in place of callback, I'll say client dot connect dot then in the parentheses, I'll say db client arrow function console log connected to MongoDB. I'll also add a catch here, the error object, arrow function and console log error. Let's save this. And there we are. We are able to successfully implement this with a different syntax that is using the promises.